Welcome back. This is Ink, and in today's problem, we're going to apply nodal analysis to find the voltage Vx across the two ohms resistor and the power supplied by the independent voltage source. In this problem, it is trivial to apply nodal analysis, but we're going to apply nodal analysis and then we're going to just apply KVL around the outside perimeter of the circuit and show you in this case that nodal is not really the fastest way. So let's choose the best node in this case would be this node and we'll call it VX. Reason why we can call it VX is the voltage to VX, I should say, because the voltage across the four ohms resistor is going to be the volt, the dependent voltage source, um, the two VX. So if we apply KCL, we see that two VX minus 12 all over two ohms plus two VX all over four ohms equal zero because two VX minus two VX is zero. So we could, we could write that plus 2vx minus 2vx and that goes to zero. Now we see this simplify. We have vx minus six plus vx all over two equals zero. We move over the six which is V6 is volts, but we don't have it as volts anymore. Now we can combine VX over two plus VX. So we have two VX plus VX all over two. And that is three VX, 12 VX equals four volts. Or we could apply KVL around the outside perimeter of the circuit, starting from the 12 volt source, we have negative 12 volts. And sometimes I like to write it as positive 12 because we know that the voltage across the two ohms and the voltage across the four ohms resistor is going to equal to the source voltage. But let's just keep it negative. So negative 12 volts plus the voltage across the two ohms, which is VX, plus the voltage across the four ohms, which is two VX equals to zero. In this case, we see that we move the 12 ohms or the 12 volts across. We see that we have the three VX and VX is equal to four volts. So the voltage at Vx is equal to four volts, simple. Now, looking at the circuit, the current I entering the 12 volt source is negative. The reason why we're going to describe it as negative, we're looking at the power supply and the power supply is always negative. So the current, negative current is equal to, let's call it I, and that's equal to negative the voltage across the two ohms resistor, which is the four volts over two ohms. So that is negative two amperes. Now the power P equals V times I is equal to the, and this is the power supplied by the volt source, the voltage source. So that's 12 volts times negative two. And that's equals to negative 24 watts. Power supply is negative and power absorb is positive. That's it. See you in the next problem. Bye.